Just for something different, I thought I'd mention a bike recovery we did recently. I'll show this old riding footage so it's not too boring. Basically, Aaron went riding by himself in this same area. Huge, rocky hill climbs and quite remote. Personally, I never ride alone. For some reason, the image of lying in the bottom of the gully by myself as I bleed out from a separate femoral artery just doesn't appeal. So I'm not sure if Aaron just has huge genitalia, or a small brain, or possibly both, but he's happy riding by himself in nasty terrain. Basic story? Aaron took a track down a steep hill until it faded into nothing. He tried to get back up zigzagging across until he slipped and split his knee open. At the three hour mark he was running out of energy, water and conscious of time slipping away. He checked his maps on the phone, decided to ride down and hopefully link up with the road out, but got into extremely gnarly terrain. By then he was low on water, sunset wasn't far off, so he recorded the location despite dodgy phone reception and eventually just managed to walk back to his car. So the next day Aaron had six stitches in his torn knee and we set out to rescue the stranded pumpkin. Problem was, the GPS coordinates he took for the bike's position were out by a few hundred metres. So we spent the next few hours trudging up and down steep hills and pushing through gullies. Finally, we found the pumpkin. Then we had to clear a track to get it out of the gully. Incredible, the bike didn't want to start and it's taken about bloody 50 minutes to get her running. Then we had to alternately ride and push and pull the Cato up, an incredibly long rock covered hill climb. Zigzag. You got your bike back, huh? Right? Yeah. The smile will be when we get to the top. Hey, return. Return of the 300 EXE. Ah, oh, you bastard. Nobody can high five. So anyway, our tips for what they're worth. Can't get up a climb? Let your tyres down to 3 psi. There's a good chance Aaron could have ridden up that climb with more grip. If you ride by yourself, make sure you've got a really accurate GPS that will also keep a track log of where you've been. Have an EPIRB or similar device so you can send out a distress signal if you really get into trouble. Have a decent phone with good reception in remote areas. Tell someone where you plan to ride and when you'll be back. Carry plenty of water and a first aid kit. Look, essentially I reckon don't ride alone if you can help it. I can see how riding solo has its advantages, but it can potentially go bad fast when the shit hits the fan.